Okay, Han, show us the car. Anna, here it is. Well, that's the cool trick about virtual reality. Did you hide anything else here? No, it's all about the car today. <laughs> I have to say, it's a really beautiful car, but it's also a little regular. At first sight, maybe. But when we approach the car, the first new feature becomes visible. So what does it do? So let me show you why this is a special car. First of all, I take out my mobile phone. And depending on the type of ride that we're going to take, I can already uh, activate some personal settings to optimize the in-car experience tailored to the ride we're going to take. So we're not taking any children with us, mm -hmm. so I deactivate the child safety seat. More space for us. More space for us. Temperature, 19 degrees. Sounds good. What type of fragrance would you like in the interior? Ooh, um, how about freshly cut grass? We, we don't have that yet. Okay. Um, but we have other options. What do you like? So I like the uh, energizing one. Sounds good. Okay, let's take the car for a ride. Oh wow, what's up with the lights? So that's actually the first new feature. It's a light through body panel technology and it's actually a welcome scenario where you approach the car. That's so nice of the car. Yes, it I is. I feel really welcome. All right. Let's start the car. Ah, uh, more lights. What's happening? So what's happening is, you remember that I have entered my pre-settings in the app. So mm -hmm. the car knows now exactly who is behind the wheel because of the facial recognition in the dashboard. So it continues adapting the vehicle interior exactly how I want it to be. And what it also does is it adjusts the safety equipment, the safety systems in the vehicle. Uh, in the app, I had to set my body weight and length and it optimizes the safety systems for my body, so it actually makes the car safer for me. Wow, so if I would enter my pre-settings, the car would recognize my face as well, and it gives me a different pull in my Exactly, chair. exactly. All the safety systems in the vehicle would adapt to your person. Where do we want to go? Oh, uh, how about a restaurant? Okay, that's fine. You choose the restaurant. I'm driving already, so you can do the navigation. Oh, that sounds good. <gasps> Let's go to ah, restaurants. We have a special tab for that. Right. Newman's Bar. You probably can watch it from here. Oh, share, sharing navigation. Exactly. So I need it where I'm looking, right? I want to keep my eyes on the road, want to have the navigation screen near to me so you can actually swipe the content that you just entered to my screen on this side. So I was not distracted. As a co-driver, you can do the programming and uh, I can keep my eyes on the road. That is very cool. So you can now relax. Do I can now relax. Else. Well, but now let's say I would like to move my chairs. I don't see any buttons, so how do I do that? Right. What we did is we actually seamlessly integrated these buttons with our surfaces. An example is on your seat um, in the armrest. If you want to adjust your seat, press the on button for a second and the menu appears. Here you oh, go. Oh, that's so pretty. Right. Okay, so I can go to Forward. the front. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that's nice. Did you hide any more buttons from me? Yeah, we actually have these smart switches throughout the interior on both soft surfaces and hard surfaces, as you can see here. Oh, wow, can I? Yeah, air conditioning. You even feel it when you touch it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's important because with these smooth surfaces, you, you're not guided with a mechanical switch, so you really need that haptic feedback to get confirmation that you actually press the button. Wow. And I see buttons in the steering wheel as well. Right, it's a smart steering wheel as we call it. So it has these smart functions, but also hands-on, hand-off detection. Think about level three, level four autonomous. There is this transition from autonomous drive where the driver has to take over. Yeah. And there is a warning sign because I, if I take my hands off the wheel, after a few seconds, it oh. warns me that I have to put my hands back on the wheel, the safety systems react, and, um, and now we're back into a normal position. It even pulls on the safety belt. Ex exactly, it's all up. integrated. It's like, right. oh, he's gonna, he's gonna bump into something. Yes. So Han, you have children, right? Right. What I hear from people, from my friends who have children, they say sometimes they have to pick a child up. They're driving around with friends and they don't have the right chair in the back. But it's actually mandatory to have a children's chair in the back. In yes. Back. Do you recognize that problem? Yeah, it's a very common problem. So what we've actually created is an integrated child safety seat. It's there when you need it, but it's not there when you don't need it. Like many of the functions in this interior, they're there when you need it, but 
it's disappearing when you don't need it. So you mean there's chairs hiding in the back? Exactly. So let's say we have the children in the back, right. in the perfect chair. Um, but we all know that children are very high maintenance. How do we entertain them? Yeah, so especially long rides. My children love to watch a, mu a movie or play a game, something like that. So you want to control the content a little bit. Yeah, you want them to watch appropriate stuff. The good thing about our system here is that, by the way, the, the, the car has five screens. Two in the front for the driver, you have one, and two in the back. So can, they can actually watch their movies. And we can go to the movie menu, pick the movie, ah. and... What we can do now is uh, you can actually select which screen can watch what content. Oh. So, for example... I want to watch Star Wars. You're going to watch Star Wars now. And now actually you can determine... Oh, really? ...what content our children should be looking at. So I can put share. Yes. I can say my left child is old enough. Yep. My right child, nah, not so much. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. Yep. So only the child in the left. And now we're watching Star Wars together. Yes. You should watch a movie because you're driving. <laughs> so what's also important is if imagine if it's going to be too quiet in the back, you want to know what's going on. Yes. You don't have to turn around to see what they're doing, but you can actually use a camera in the back and that screen to watch your children in the back to understand what they're doing. Baby monitor. I'm watching the back. Exactly. Here they are. Oh, look at them. Are you okay there in the front? Perfect, Anna. Are you okay in the back? I'm totally fine. I feel like relaxing. Very good. So this is our zero gravity seat. And what you might want to do is go into this relax position. You mm -hmm. only have to push one switch in the smart surface. Yeah. Exactly. Turn it on. Now, that's the massage function. Ooh. You can start with that too if you I'll want. I'll start with the massage. Right. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. And then you can go into this zero gravity position. It's a deep recline. You have to push the button below the ma exactly that one. And then you can let go. Everything happens automatically. The rear seat moves out of the way. Ooh. And the seat goes into a very relaxing position. So you have the massage. You have a very relaxing position. So we want to create a very nice ambiance as well. Um, turn on a little music. Nice! Adjust the uh, fragrance of your preference and, uh, and we can also make the light pulse with the music to, to really get you into a full state of relaxation. Well, you drive me anywhere. I'm just, fine here. <laughs> just tell me where you want to go and I'll make sure I'll take you there. Okay, Anna, remember at the beginning you said that when we were setting the, uh, the presets for our vehicle ride, um, we don't need the child seat for this ride, and you said that leaves more space for us. Exactly. And this is exactly this position. So imagine we're two colleagues, we're almost um, at our meeting where we have to be, and we need to do some final preparations to our presentations. This is the setting that we would create in the interior. This is enough space even for my big feet. Very good. You have a lot of space. I have a lot of space. So you can even create a more effective workspace for us. If you bring over this uh, smart companion, our, our floor console, and turn on the uh, smart surface and the armrest, yes, and here it comes. Well, hello. So it's, this is really a multifunctional floor console. Lots of features, lots of functions. Storage is very important in the back. There are cool drinks, hot drinks. I can charge my phone if I want to. Color changes when it starts uh, charging. And uh, you even have a table function. So just push the small switch. And Over here? Yes. And mm. the table pops out. Well, this thing is full of surprises. Sorry. Again? What you have to do is this. And if you'd want to do some work, you move the seat a little bit forward. But for what we're going to do, this is perfect. We can both look at the presentation. I can show you my holiday pictures. Sounds great. <laughs> or I can show you my presentation about a car with a zero gravity seat. That's even better. Let me show you. Well, I think we'll come there completely prepared. Very good. Okay, Han, I think I actually found all your hidden buttons. I think so. Most I, of them. I touched all the smart services. Right. I think I got a good impression. Very good. So I say let's go out and wrap it up. 
Well, this was a great experience and I have to say you have some really nice features in there. But what do you think is the most important innovation? To be honest, I think the most interesting innovation we haven't seen yet. And as you say, there are a lot of innovations in the vehicle, but what now really becomes important to create an intuitive and meaningful in-car experience is the choreography of all the digital and physical features in the, in the car. So everything has to happen at the right time. So for that purpose, we've developed our own domain control unit, our smart cabin controller, and, and that really drives all the features and functions in the interior, that everything happens at the right time. Could you say that it's like the central brain of the interior? Perfect. It's the central brain of the interior. Okay. So I do think it's the most impressive when you're actually in the car, but I hope that the people at home will have gotten a good impression. What do you think? So I really hope so, and, and again, the people at home are really important for us because for our innovation process, we start with the end user and we work our way back to technology. So we would really appreciate if you can leave your feedback. Yeah, and you can actually leave that feedback just down in the comments here below. And if it's useful feedback, they might actually pick it out and use it for the next model, XIM22. How about that? Great idea. That would be cool. Thank you very much for joining us today and have a good one.